Yo, what is going on guys? It is DS, your commence today with another Madden 21 video. And today, we're going to be talking about how to get easy coins in Madden 21. The method I will talk about in today's video, or at least the main method, will be available on Friday. So do everything I say in this video to really make a lot of coins in this game. Uh, really quickly, I just want to say here on the channel, we talk a lot of, uh, we talk a lot about no money spent methods, how to get easy coins, easy training points, how to get trophies fast, how to get XP fast. Whatever you need, it's here on the channel, so go check it out. Additionally, if you ever have any questions on today's video, you gotta let me know down below because I always answer all the questions and stuff down below. So, uh, shout out to all you guys that have been asking me questions because I love answering them. So, we're gonna dive into today's video. So, what we're talking about today is most feared, all right, and how you can make a lot of coins from the most feared promo. Now, uh, some of the trends, the market trends in previous Maddens, Madden 20 was really the first Madden I played that I took seriously. I played Madden 19 a little bit, but Apparently every year the Halloween promo cards like the bosses the main cards the highest overall cards Go up in price after the promo ends So I'm gonna give you guys a plan on how you can get a lot of coins from doing this All right, so I don't know if you guys remember but I've been telling you guys to save your coins in all my coin videos lately Because uh, you're gonna want to spend them on this Halloween promo and this is where this method comes in If you don't have a lot of coins, it's fine uh, There's a lot of videos on the channel. So go check them out like I said, there's, bro, there's plenty of ways to get your coins up fairly quickly. So, uh, you know, take advantage of that. All right. Now, what you want to do, though, to benefit from these cards the most, I'm just going to, we're just going to say, for example, it's going to be Rainy Moss. All right. I want you guys to buy, or at least get two of the Rainy Moss cards. Get one of the Rainy Moss cards to put on your team and save the other one for about a month. Because that card is going to go up by about 100K than what it would when the promo is out. So, you know, the promo comes out in October. In the middle of November, you know, the card will be 100,000 coins more than what it would have been in October. So, you're going to want to save that second card that you buy uh, to really make a lot of coins from that. And what you can do as well, it, it kind of works out pretty well, actually. The Thanksgiving promo will come out in the middle of November. So, you know, you're going to have that Rainy Moss card to sell right before the Thanksgiving promo comes out. And that means you're going to be loaded and you're going to be ready to go for that Thanksgiving promo. And guess what can happen then? For the Thanksgiving promo, you save on, you hold on to one of the cards, sell it around Christmas time. Guess what? You have a bunch of coins for Christmas, and so on and so forth. So take this time to make this investment, uh, buying two of the boss cards to save for the future. Save one of those cards for the future, because this will be a huge way to benefit and get a lot of coins in the game. I can promise you it will work. It's pr I've heard it's pretty much worked literally every single year, and why would it change this year? Um, I highly doubt it would. We know EA is wild, it's crazy, but I highly doubt it would change. All right, I have some people I'm probably gonna sell to get up to about a million coins. Uh, I did not have time to play weekend league last weekend. Uh, I'm not even qualified, but I'm gonna probably go through a season tonight to get qualified. Uh, just I was really busy last weekend, I couldn't play any games. Uh, I think I only got one video up over the weekend as well. But uh, if you're looking to make coins like today, like right after you watch this video. Uh, I'll give you more, some more methods, alright? I always talk about these legend challenges. You gotta play these legend challenges, bro. It's literally free coins. They're just giving you free coins. Super easy, man. Really is super easy. You can play these rivals challenges. You get a lot of, you get like 400 coins every two minutes, which is super good. Uh, you also get a free 88 overall, or like a free 86 or 87 overall, something like that. It's Geno Atkins. Um, these are okay. I talk about these a lot. Um, but that's that. You have this team if anything that I've talked about in the past, which is like the team standouts. You guys told me this card is NAT, and you know what? You are right. I did not actually realize it was NAT. Uh, I watched a couple videos uh, before making that video. I, I always watch videos on the best tutorials, and I pick out the most you know important information from all those videos, and I put it into this one, or I just find my own information, which I do most of the time anyways, and put it into the video. A couple of the videos said, that you could sell the card, which you guys were right though. So thank you guys for telling me that. Uh, thank you for clarifying it for me that it was uh, not sellable. All right, but if you're looking to get a free card, maybe quick sell for training, you got an 89 overall there. What you can do is you can get this 89 overall card, quick sell for training, all right? And what do you do with that training? If you don't want to power someone up, if you want to make coins from your training points, well, I have a solution for you, all right? So go over to the shop, if the servers will load sometime today. You can go over to the shop though, and you see there's going to be a training section in the store. You can actually buy some stuff with training to maybe get your coins up. These playbooks, uh, the good ones, sell for like, you know, about 10,000 coins. They might not sell very fast, but they will sell eventually. 
or if you want to save up to buy one of these big boys uh, uh, you, I mean you can obviously do that as well it's up to you but if you're looking for free training free coins that are pretty easy to get those are what I would recommend doing um, one more thing you could do obviously you could do soul battles I don't recommend soul battles all right I think soul battles are a complete waste of time I've heard some youtubers recommend it some youtubers say don't do it in my personal opinion I think there's better ways to get your coins I think I'd rather play let's say a soul battle game takes 10 minutes you know with my team I feel like I make I can make two people quit in 10 minutes and that's way more coins that I would get from doing head-to-head -head season games so I would recommend doing head-to-head -head seasons games over solo battles but if you like playing the CPU solo battles is probably a good solution for you so that's there as well that's up to you though all right mutt squads it I mean it's decent uh, it's not as fun as last year I don't think but it's decent uh, it's just really hard with two users on the field on defense it's really hard to run your offense however the guy that I play with is an absolute beast of a quarterback and he makes the best reads of all time so it's pretty fun for me I'm not gonna lie I just use it the tight end and run routes while he just throws it up to people it, it's amazing but you can do the draft as well I haven't really talked about the draft I might make a separate video about the draft and how to make coins from the draft so uh, you guys maybe look forward to that in the future but that's really it guys uh, save your coins for Friday the game will change on Friday. The game, I'm, I can promise you this, the game will completely change on Friday with Rainy Moss being in the game or whoever the boss is that's in the game. It will completely change the game. So save your coins because uh, like I said, you do not want to miss out on Friday's content. And uh, really quickly, maybe another financial advice, uh, financial tip. Don't buy the card on Friday. Maybe buy it on Sunday. Buy it on Saturday. You know, because if you buy it the first 10 minutes it's out, you could literally lose a million coins from that. Some people are going to put that card up for 2 million coins. You do not want to throw that many coins down the drain. Wait till Saturday, wait till Sunday, or even wait till I post a video where I have the card. That way I can give you guys some insight on if you know on if you're getting the card for the best value or not. Alright? So uh, that pretty much is gonna do it for this video. We're gonna do shouts of the day right now. In case you don't know, I do shouts in literally every single video. If you want to get shouted out, comment on today's video. I'll shout you out in my next video. Alright? Uh, here we go. So shout outs of the day. We got a couple here. I got to try to organize this as much as possible. All right. First one goes to Joshua Porterfield. Uh, oh, my gosh. You, I remember you commented before this guy coming up here. I really struggle with your name, so I'm sorry if I butcher it. We have Callan Daskulik. Thank you for commenting the last video. We have King Julian. MGC the Ghost. Landon Kelly. George Washington. Daniel. Oh, boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher this last name. Daniel Vukaj and yolk face so uh yeah that's that's it for this video guys hope you all did enjoy it if you did please leave a like comment subscribe down below thank you so much for all the recent support it seriously is a blessing i'm glad i can really you know i'm glad i've been helping you guys out thank you for all the positivity in the comments so with that being said hope you guys are great yesterday stay safe for me and peace out